What is up YouTube? This is my Losi 124 scale micro rally car. I just want to do a quick little video of the mods, some of the stuff I've done to it, try to help you guys out. So anyway, told you what it is, let's take the body shell off. And as you can see off the bat, I've got mini FCT tires. The original owner, my friend Nick, burnt them up, so I replaced them. And he had also been a stub out, so not really related to the car. But anyway, uh, yeah. So up front we got the toys. Camber arms. And I need to do the same in the rear in time. But I got upgraded shock tower back there. So we got the toys, uh, front camber arms. We got some, I think they're GPM, front C hubs. Again, not really needed, but pretty cool little upgrade and not very much money. And in the rear, we got a, I believe, GPM shock tower. Pretty sweet little upgrade again, not needed. Now the camber arms, I kind of would replace them. It's kind of cool to have all the adjustability. But then again, that goes out saying you don't really need it to drive the car. It's not really like a flawed piece, it's not going to really break. But anyway, yep, got the rear camber arm. We've also got a little spur gear inside here. Uh, the original one came stripped, but I don't know if it's from my friend Nick, or if it's just, it's a weak piece, I don't really know. Um, and uh, you'll see that this got full-size Dean's connectors, which is obviously not stock, and then the chassis trimmed back pretty, I did a pretty good job on that, trimmed the chassis back so I could fit the full-size connector. But that's because I went to Hobby King and did the proper thing to do. Instead of wasting thirty or forty dollars on a stupid lipo from Losi that costs, like I said, thirty to forty bucks, went to Hobby King and I bought this three hundred. And I'll pop the battery car off and let you see it. This three hundred ma Turnigy. Let me focus that in there. There you go. Turnigy Nanotech three hundred ma two S. Claims 35 to 70 C. I honestly have no idea, and it doesn't really matter. It provides plenty and plenty of power. Now, one thing to keep in mind with this is, since your battery, unlike the Losi, this is the benefit of the Losi. Uh, the Losi battery has a built-in LBD, so you don't over overtake all take more power than you really need because it's bad to drain lipo batteries below a certain point. This does not have that, considering it's it wants the ESC to do that work for it. So. What you have to do is run an LVD on the balance plug, and that's down here, because I just took it out. But um, basically, I normally let the balance plug just hang out just a tiny, tiny little bit, and I plug in an LVD. Come on, come out. Okay, that's not going to come out, but you guys all know what a balance plug looks like. And if you haven't, then I will make a separate video replying to this, and just write your comments down below. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Really fun little toy to play with inside, and being brushless with the 2S perfect you don't need more I'm pretty sure it says on the top yes it does as you can see here you can run a, I think a 1s let's say what we'll to say 4.8 volts that's not a 1s but you can run a 2s or 3s 2s is plenty fine trust me you don't need more than 2s but if you want to do 3s I might pick up a 3s pack they're so dirt cheap from Hobby King why freaking not anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like more videos like this comment down below see you guys soon bye